Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video to show you how to change the loudspeaker, the speaker assembly in the iPhone 5S. So first of all, before we get started, I wanted to show you some of the tools that we're going to be using during this process. Now if there's any tools that we will be using later on, I'll introduce them later on in the video. So first of all, we're going to be using this screwdriver. It's a Torx or Pentalobe it's called. If you want to get one, it's size zero, as you can see there, and it's the standard one for removing the screws on the bottom here. So what we will use that for, this is the only thing we'll be using this screwdriver for, is we'll need to remove these two screws on the bottom. And so also we're going to be using a Phillips screwdriver. It's size 000. Just wanted to show you, it's just a little Phillips. And we'll also be using a tweezers for this. You don't need one necessarily, but I like to use one. Also, I like to use a plastic pry tool, which I'll be using later in the video. Now, there's another handy little tool that I like to use. It is a uh, suction cup opening tool for the LCD screen, and I'll show you how this works. Any of these tools that I'll be using during this process, I'll include links in the video description where you can find them easily enough. And any parts that I'm going to be using also during this repair, I'll include links for that as well so it's easy for you to find. First of all, it, has, it comes with this part right here. This is the handiest little tool ever. If you don't have one, I would highly recommend getting one. Because you can either, for opening the screen, you can either use a single suction cup, which a lot of people do, and you can put it on here and you can try to loosen the screws and then pry it apart. But just from experience, this thing works a lot easier, and it's only like eight or nine bucks I got this tool for. So I'll be showing you how to use this tool as well. So we'll just go ahead and set it up. You just turn it sideways like this. Now I wanted to show you. So you can set your phone in just like this. Now you'll have to go ahead and, and remove the two screws on the bottom first with this thing here. I already removed them but for the sake of time, but I wanted to show you. So you'll need the Torx pentalobe screwdriver for that. And now they recommend setting this all the way down in the bottom here for support, but I like to keep this as close to the home button as possible, this suction cup. So all you need to do is just press down so they get a good suction on both sides, like this, and then you just pull up. And then if your screen hasn't been opened, what I would recommend is using something like the tweezers or something. If you get right under this corner right here, there's a little, little bit of a opening right there then it just pops up just like that. So if you can see that there's a little bit of a notch right here in the screen that's where you want to go. And then so that came apart really easy and then you can either pull these tabs here and then just pop one off and then just pull that and pop those that off. So next what we will be doing is opening up the screen and right here be careful when you pry this open you don't want to go too far because there's the ribbon cable here for the touch ID sensor home button. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to just lay this sideways to expo expose this connector right here and then you can just pry up on this connector on one side and it pops right off and then you're going to want to pry underneath this there's a little it's a little connector right there it just pops off and then you can lift the, the screen up just like this now without lifting the screen too high, you can tip it almost straight, but um, what we're going to need to do is remove these four screws right here in this cover. And you'll need to keep these track of these so you keep them in the right order when you take them off. The top two are not magnetic. If you have a magnetic tip screwdriver, you can tell that way. The bottom two are. But either way, I would recommend just keeping those in order when you take them off. So next you can just grab this connector and pull it right out of here. And then I will need something like this plastic pry tool. I go ahead and connect, disconnect these connectors right here. There's three of them. And then they come off just like that. You can see there's three of them right there. So next what you will want to do is remove these two screws on this connector right here. Next we'll go ahead and just pull this connector off. To change the speaker assembly, what you need to do is you can go ahead and remove this screw right here and this screw right here and then next we're going to want to remove this antenna wire right here and get it out of the way and next you can just pry up on this speaker don't pry up too far but you can pry up that far 
and then what we need to do is kind of slide it this way and out at the same time so um, let's go ahead and slide it this way first a little bit and then we can pull it out like this see what happens there's a tab here and a tab here that we'll need to watch and so then when you changing over your new part you'll probably need to swap over this little flex cable right here you just peel it off it has adhesive on it and then you can peel put it back on your new speaker so to reassemble you can first of all put this one in and slide it this way in first and then as far as it'll go and then you can kind of work this one in back here and just push it in there and then go ahead and put your two screws back in here and reconnect this cable right here I'm going to reinstall this connector on top of the battery right here and put those two screws back in to reinstall the front screen what we need to do is grab your screen and go ahead and set it here and start connecting things so you want to connect that one and go ahead and connect the next one right there and go ahead and connect the front camera so next you're going to want to grab your connector right here your plate connect your plate and set it on there and then you can go ahead and put all your screws back in in the right order what you want to do for now is just lay this down gently and then we need to connect this cable right here so if you have something that you can get it started with then you see you got some slack there and then we're gonna have to go ahead and put this connector back in it has a prong on the one side that goes towards the bottom of the phone You'll have to hook it over on this side, there's holes, and then you'll have to pop this part in right here. Then we can go ahead and just take the screen, tip it up as much as you can. You don't want to tip it too far because of this flex cable here. And then get this front started in. First, it has little tabs that kind of have to go down and in. Then you can just set it down and just start popping it in all the way around. Once you have that, go ahead and put your two screws back in the bottom. Now it's all back together. Thanks for watching.